person sees all. Venus approaching the horizon, which Venus and Mars will be leaving. I guess they're going on vacation. <laughs> they're talking about it in astronomy news. A little bit of the infrared camera, then off to the sun. All right, guys, I have several of them in the sky. With a big difference, appearing and disappearing. All right, guys, can you flash for me, please? Nice big flash. Yeah. And disappear. I love it. Big flash. There's more of them. Oh, there's three or four around the other sky. I'm trying to look everywhere. He's going to disappear. We'll be able to go see the other ones. Where's the other one? There it is. That wasn't too long. Let's go see the other one. Sorry for the shaking. But I like doing it without breaking up the film. There it is. So that you can see that there's really several in the sky. Of course, my voice sounds weird because I'm looking upwards. Sometimes other UFOs appear in the camera with them. They don't all flash. They don't all disappear either. Watch here. I asked for one to come into the screen or if there's any more, and I missed it. Just lots. Imagine how many I miss. Oh, what the hell they are. I don't see that Any more in the sky? Yeah, that was slowed down. So, you know, when they take down all the satellites, we'll know that they're not human, right? Oh, there's one. Let's take a look at it. Where is it? It'll show up real soon. There it is. Oh, my goodness. It sounds like a Harley. You see that? There was two of them. They're bikers. Alien bikers. I thought it would be super cool to see the sun filmed on July 11th, like you're looking at right now, and today, the 12th, to compare, to see it rolling. Guess what? Well, the south side of the sun is about to flip the southern field of the sun. So we will check out the progression of the flipping and how the sun is turning. Again, the only way for us to see that is by looking at the sun while there are sunspots, and may I add, a very aggressive sunspot. As you are watching this right now, only moments ago, a coronal mass ejection. Let's get into the information of that while we look at the sun from July 11th. All right, so some of these solar flares have been quite impressive, and they signal that this sunspot in particularly, this region is one we need to keep an eye on in the days that are coming. Of course, it did not launch any Earth-directed coronal mass ejection, but wait, our sun is not done yet with the fireworks. That's what everyone's uh, talking about right now. And of course, with the flipping of the southern field, she actually launched a filament eruption south of the center disk uh, yesterday. And the coronal mass ejection from this eruption does have a chance to deliver Quite a glancing blow to our planet again, Friday, July 14th, so to be expected. So there was one yesterday, and now, today, Wednesday, a strong M flare with a filament eruption with a corona mass ejection, 1848 UTC time on the 12th of July, 2023. So after 
we finish looking at this part of the sun um, on the 11th. We'll look at the sun on the 12th, moments after the eruption. So we are approaching the end of the viewing of the sun for July 11th. So see, that wasn't too painful. We will take a look at the sun today, July 12th. And obviously, I'm changing angles, showing you the sun. So this is what it looks like, right? And you're going to see how it changes the sun. So this is right side up. We're looking at the sun quite simply, originally without uh, turning or changing the angle. And then a couple moments, look at that, July 11th. So let's head over to July 12th. And you can see that that large spot on the bottom is completely turned. There we are. So in other words, as compared to the 11th, the bottom of the sun would be on the left. Where we are turning, we're also witnessing the flipping of the southern um, field. So what's going to happen? Well, you all know it. A lot of weather changes here on Earth, right? So I like turning the angle sometimes for us to get a very precise and clear shot of the sun. Enjoy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos.